guys just wanted to show this Graco Magnum X5 with a DIY hopper. I saw someone on Facebook um, creating this thing. It's, this is pretty much the same copy, but um, some guy on one of the uh, cabinet refinishers professional groups on Facebook posted this, and I thought it was really cool. I was in a pinch with my 440 one time. I was spraying cabinet doors and something went wrong. So I just thought to make this as a backup machine. This also saves paint since I'm not um, since I'm using the hopper and it's pretty much going directly, the machine is directly um, sucking the paint. And I'm using the 20 foot, 25 foot quarter inch hose too, so that saves me a lot of paint. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to show you this little attachment thing, DIY little project I made. Um, this is from Harbor Freight. This is a texture hopper gun um, that I bought for around 25 bucks, I think, from Harbor Freight. All these adapters were from a hardware store that all the staff helped me uh, put this together. Um, and, you know, this is the same size hose as the one that comes with the machine. Um, and it just clamps on. I usually use a paint strainer when I spray everything just to prevent clumps from going to the machine and into my gun filter. Past that, I use this filter, this mesh filter that sits at the bottom of um, sinks to prevent food from going through into your drains. Let me just, it's kind of hard grabbing with the, use this thing. And it sits perfectly at the bottom of this. Um, but yeah, this is a great setup if you want to save paint when spraying, you know, a door, cabinet doors, maybe a piece of trim. It's a great way to save paint since you're using a hopper. This machine's super light. I never knew that the Magnum X5 was this light since I'm usually carrying around a 390 PC or a 440. Those are a lot heavier compared to this, but um, yeah, great little machine uh, and setup for cabinet doors or if you're using 2K products or you don't want to uh, waste too much paint. This is a great little um, DIY tool to use for that. One little problem I've had though was that I would get tailing uh, or tails on my spray pattern when using this. I'd crank it up to 3000 PSI, the max amount of pressure I can get out of this machine and would still get the same issue when using a 308 tip. Um, that might just be me. Something might be wrong with this setup. Um, but other than that, I've been using a 310 tip, uh, usually pretty high pressure to prevent uh, my spray pattern from getting tailing. But if you guys know any remedies or um, ways I could fix this, let me know in the comments below. But yeah, I just wanted to show my setup, hopper adapters that other people put together for me pressure gauge so I know how much pressure I'm getting out of the machine 25 foot quarter inch hose from Graco I have a Titan RX 80 uh, two finger uh, two finger trigger pull gun and a Graco uh, blue guard for the FFLP tips and I'll usually shoot 308 or 310 tips um, to keep my spray pattern relatively smaller um, and not get too much volume out of the, out of the gun this is it though let me know if you have any questions in the comments and I'd be happy to help you.